Hey y'all, today's show is about eating dessert first, and I've got two guests to share the fun with me. First is my friend Tarek, who shows me his over-the-top, deep-fried cupcakes that's filled with something very sweet. By gosh, I love ganache. Then, y'all, my friend Bubbles shows up, and let me tell you something, she's got the beat. We're making a delicious roasted beet salad with a cocoa vinaigrette. Finally, it's a succulent spin on chops with chocolate spiced pork chops. Don't those pork chops look bad to the very bone? This chocolatey menu, y'all, is gonna make you jive, baby. <laughs> I had the opportunity to go to this precious, precious bakery, Nolens, and I had the opportunity to meet this young man right here. His name is Tarek, y'all. Tarek Hanna. So I asked him then, would you like to come be on my show? And he said, of course I'd love to. Of course, So why here not? he is. So what are you doing? We're gonna do a truffle-filled fried cupcake that basically takes everything you love about everything you love and makes it everything you love. We're just gonna have a great big love in. Yes, this is one big love fest. Well, put me to work and I'll help you. Okay, well, what, what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna okay. have you mix all the dry ingredients, one and three quarter cups of sugar. Okay. And we have two and three quarter cups of cake flour and about okay. a tablespoon of baking powder. Okay. What I did over here, I separated my uh, nine eggs, uh -huh. my yolks and my whites to Does that. Does this call for a little salt? Uh, Tarek, yeah, a, a teaspoon of salt. Okay. So then what I'm doing, I'm, I'm adding a cup of water to my nine yolks over here. Okay. And then once you've got that combined, can I possibly have you put two tablespoons of butter? Now, I know you get a little carried away. <laughs> I'm asking for two tablespoons. You're just, you're asking for just two. Just two. Uh, into the little pot and we'll melt that. Okay. I'll try to be as accurate. And basically what we're doing, we're just As making a very simple chiffon cake, cupcake. Okay. Only two tablespoons of butter. I can't go anywhere without being made fun of. <laughs> Honey, I'm the one that gets made fun of all the time. Now what we're gonna do is combine the water and the egg yolk into the dry ingredients. So okay. I'm gonna have you whisk that. And, and we're just gonna whisk. We're not gonna pull out an electric mixer and use well, that. Well, I'm gonna actually use the electric mixer for to, make your the, to make my meringue. Okay. And well, all this you is do coming is just, together easy. Yeah, it's a very, very simple recipe. And this is probably one of the easiest cupcake recipes you'll ever make. I mean, this is so, so easy. And you just want to get this to a soft to medium peak. Keep it a nice, light, airy cake. And does that butter, I just pour it you on just in pour here? You just pour it right into there. So this has almost come together. Well, your cupcakes were phenomenal. I was actually thinking about teaming up uh, with a dentist and... Uh... Let me tell you something funny, Tarek. My dentist here in town, when you leave, he brings you a, a warm, fresh-baked chocolate chip cookie. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you're talking about job security. <laughs> So we're gonna fold that right into the ingredients that you have. Okay. You can fold it with the whisk, a and that whisk. incorporates it very, very nicely. Okay. And then the second portion, we're gonna use a spatula. Okie doke. You very simply wanna come in from the center mm -hmm. and fold it over. So, Paula, I see you do have a built-in deep fryer. Tell me some of the things that you have deep fried. <laughs> Oh, listen, I've, I've, <laughs> I've about deep fried it all, honey. I've fried lasagna, I've fried macaroni and cheese. What was your favorite thing? I've fried cake. I have even fried butter. <laughs> I, I don't know where to go with that. <laughs> well, you go in your mouth. Oh. You know, I've got to taste the batter. And? It's perfectly delicious. Well, thank you. So you're gonna spray the tins, and we're gonna load these up. I'm gonna give this just a little spray, just to ensure that these come out nice and easy. Yeah. And then, if I can have you start spooning. Okay, now what do you use to spoon your cupcakes up with? Just a regular a spoon. spoon? Uh huh. And we're probably gonna fill these three quarters of the way. Okay, you're the probably... batter's beautiful. All right, well, I'm gonna have to 
scoop okay. this with Perfect. something else. So while uh, you do that, uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on the ganache. Okay. Well, I'm going to slip right in here, and I'm going to try not to make such a big mess. Now, see, that works a lot better for me, Tyrek. Oh, well, there you go. So now for the filling on this, we're just going to make a very simple ganache, which basically comprises of a cup of chocolate. Yeah. Any semi-sweet chocolate. But very simply, it's a cup of chocolate and a cup of heavy cream. And then... Okay, see how much faster that was for me using the dipper. All right, do you want to put these in the oven? Yeah, so I'm going to go start into baking. a 350 oven. And these are going to go for about 20 minutes. And then okay. in the meantime, I have my cup of heavy cream. Okay. And we're going to bring this to a boil. And then if we add the cream to the chocolate, we're going to let it melt. Because you are the keeper of the butter, you'll be adding one tablespoon of butter into the ganache. It helps actually set the ganache up just a little bit, and it gives it a nice creamy quality. I can't imagine that it would hurt. Oh, no. The one thing it won't do is hurt. <laughs> okay, so this is blended. That looks delicious. Plastic My gosh, cream. I love ganache. Mmm. <laughs> so plastic wrap directly on top. Okay. That way you don't form a skin. Uh-huh. But if it's warm, just leave a little bit of breathing room for that heat okay. to escape. Well, so we're on the way. We're, we're halfway there. Don't go anywhere, y'all. It's deep fried cupcakes. <laughs> it's getting good, y'all. Coming up, Tarek finds the weight of my heart when he deep fries these cupcakes. You gotta love it. <laughs> then my friend Bubbles stops by to help us make a salad that is full of all kind of surprises. This is like getting a prize in the Cracker Jack box. <laughs> and later, y'all, we dress these delicious chops in chocolate. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. We are going to deliver to America, as we promised, deep fried cupcakes. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hollow these out. Oh, gosh, they look so pretty. And we're going to put the ganache in there. And in the meantime, okay. you're going to start making uh, some batter. OK, some batter. Yeah, and actually, this is a little bit of a cross between a fish and chip batter and a tempura batter. Well, I saw you putting out beer. Now, I love beer batter. It's a fabulous, fabulous batter. And this way, you get that little bit of yeasty, malty hoppiness right. to combine with the sweet. So you get a little bit of that savory element right. to it, but then you forget about it real quick once so you try the there's, chocolate. So there's a method to his madness, y'all. Yeah, it's mostly madness. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm cutting the middle out of the cupcake. Uh-huh. And I'm just going to stick my finger in there to make and a little bit of a cavity. A, make a little bit of a hole, yeah. And that way, we're going to put these tops back on once the ganache goes in. In the meantime, can I have you measure out a cup and a half of all-purpose flour uh -huh. and a cup and a half of rice flour? Okay. And the reason I use the rice flour and not all uh, regular flour is it gives a little bit of crispiness. Oh, it does. It. It, it lightens the bath a little bit. rice flour, can you find that at the grocery store? Some of the specialty grocery stores you should be able to find, or any health food store, you should find it very easily. Well, I just love the thought of where that rice flour is going to take this. And you just wait and see the results. Nice and crisp. Mm. All right. And what uh, I'm going to do is the ganache that we had made that set uh -huh. out and set up a little bit, I'm going to put into a pastry bag. I mean, getting right down in there, you want to get as much of that chocolate. Yes, don't skimp now on mine. Oh, no, I promise you, yours will I be I like loaded. a lot of filling in the center. I've got a cup and a half now of each of our flour. What else goes in there? Three tablespoons of sugar. OK. Half a teaspoon of baking powder. OK. And the one egg. Now pour it. Yes. This is actually key, so you don't lose any of your filling. OK. The bit that I cut off, yeah. you set that right back into the chocolate, and it's going to yeah. fuse back together. Yes. So when we go to fry these, you don't lose any of that gooey <laughs> goodness of chocolate. Good, because I don't want to lose a drop. 
All right, now, so go ahead and add the egg. Yes. Now this next pot is for professionals only. <laughs> the beer. Well, I'm not a professional, so you do that. It's a bottle and a half. Standard 12 ounce bottle. And about half a bottle. I was gonna ask you, what's, what, what is? <laughs> I saw that. Oh. <laughs> um, I saw that. Actually, I'm gonna grab a whisk. Yeah, I was gonna, gonna say that. all I see is a spoon. The nice thing about this batter is you could use it right away or you could let it sit. If you let it sit, it thickens uh -huh. up a little bit and it gives you a little bit of a heavier yeah. coating. But we can go right away with this. Okay. So the next important thing is make sure you're ready. Is that hot beer you're drinking? I'm English. <laughs> oh, y'all drink hot beer in England? Room temperature. Room temperature. Yes. Set these All right, should guys. I be flipping those? Yeah. Okay, you ready to go swimming? Let's go. We don't want our tops to come off. We don't off, want the tops do we? to come off. So just roll them in there. Okay. Let them soak up a little bit. <laughs> you ready to do this? <laughs> I'm so. I was ready about 30 minutes ago. Okay. Let's bring this over here so we don't uh, okay. drip all over the kitchen. Very gently. Uh huh. I don't want to burn myself. 350 degrees is actually uh -huh. what we're frying in mm -hmm. in peanut oil. <laughs> you gotta love it! <laughs> Only here can we do this. This is legal in most states. I've met my match, y'all. You know, I do tell everybody, you have to use moderation. You know, trust me, I don't eat this way every day. But once in a while, Dad Gummit, you earn, you have earned a, a over-the-top sinful treat. And I think this is gonna fall in that category. See, top stayed on nice. Yes, it sealed it up. You can't even tell. Tarek cut the top out of those, y'all. So how are we gonna serve these? Well, what we're gonna do is, taking the idea from New Orleans and beignets uh -huh. that I've just mounded with powdered sugar. Uh -huh. I do like a little bit of powdered sugar on these. We can okay. serve this with some ice cream. Okay, do you wanna just douse them in it like that? Yeah. Or? because it's gonna soak up and give a little yeah. bit of a uh, sweetie goodness to it. This looks delicious, delicious. I just think that this deserves a little ice cream. Paula, well, we ready to eat? <laughs> it's a dollar waiting on the dime, baby. <laughs> All right. You know, oh God. <laughs> Look at that ganache in there, y'all. Where else but in your house would you get fried cupcakes? <laughs> Was I wrong? Bad boy. Oh my goodness. Everything you love about everything you love. <laughs> I think you're terrific. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. My friend Bubbles two steps her way through our salad making. Well, you just beat it on over there to the oven. <laughs> and later, we're taking these chops to new heights, y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying the show. And I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. My friend Bubbles, she's here with me today. I'm thrilled every time she comes to Savannah and joins me here in the kitchen. Love me some Bubbles. Love me some Paula. Uh, Bubbles is working on the beets. We're going to do a wonderful roasted beet salad, y'all, with a rich cocoa vinaigrette. And we're using these beautiful fresh beets. Susan is cutting the tops off, peeling those. Then she's gonna wrap them in tin foil, and we're gonna bake these off. We're gonna roast them off in the oven, yeah. and we're gonna put them in a fabulous salad. She's got the beet. Y'all hear the beet? Bubbles has gone out to the car. I carry my tap shoes. You never know. her tap shoes. You never know when you have to perform. <laughs> this is all from Miss Peggy. Didn't you take dancing? 
Yes, I took dancing. Every little girl in Albany, Georgia took dancing from Miss Peggy Pritchett. <laughs> this girl is nuts. She's certifiably nuts. Mm -hmm. You're too funny. I love those shoes. So listen, I had to eat dessert without you, girl. Sorry. Oh. And a oh. fabulous dessert it was. Susan, oh. they were the most fabulous deep fried cupcakes you've ever put in your mouth. Oh, yum. Now, what I need for you to do, Bubbles, mm -hmm. is put a couple of tablespoons of olive oil, about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, quarter of a teaspoon of black pepper, gotcha. and mix that in. And then take your brush mm -hmm. and just brush those beets yes, and wrap them individually, and they're going to be beautiful. And while Bubbles is doing that, mm -hmm. I'm going to get up a, a dry rub for these fabulous pork chops that I've got here. We're doing chocolate pork chops, oh, Bubbles. right. You're talking about beautiful. the most beautiful center cut pork chops you've ever seen. Well, Gorgeous. I'm gonna mix this up a dry rub. Now just start with two tablespoons of light brown sugar, one tablespoon of Italian seasoning, paprika and onion powder, a teaspoon of each, one and a half teaspoons each of unsweetened cocoa and garlic powder and a half teaspoon each of chili powder, cumin, pepper, and salt. You see these beautiful beet leaves? We're gonna use these to just to spruce up. Yes, we're gonna garnish with those. I was those. gonna use them for a headdress. <laughs> <laughs> a headdress. <laughs> Ooh, this is just wonderful. Do you know I absolutely adore beets? I do too, love them. Adore beets. We've just got little gifts right here for everybody. I've got the beet, honey. <laughs> Well, you just beat it on over there to the oven. <laughs> How long are you gonna cook those for? One hour and 15 minutes. <laughs> At what temperature? At 350. <laughs> All right, well listen, I'm gonna dredge these pork chops in our rub and then get them in this heated pan that I've coated with olive oil. This a man chop it. Now we're cooking these for three minutes on each side, and then we're gonna bake them for eight minutes in a 350 degree oven. And when we come back, Ginger Rogers and I are gonna tap down here. We're gonna make a wonderful vinaigrette for those beets. Mm, yum. And we're gonna have an eating good time, girlfriend. All right. So what? just tap us on out of here. Y'all, we dine on our cocoa creations. And that won't drop delicious to die for. I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. Bubbles. What? Get out our beets. And our pork chops. Gotcha. Please. And I'm going to be making us up a vinaigrette for that wonderful roasted beet salad. Now I'm going to start with a fourth of a cup of olive oil. I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of red wine vinegar. Yum. Oh gosh. Yum. Yum. Don't those pork chops look like bad to the very bone? Mmm. Smells yummy. Okay, we're going to garnish with these. Yes. Okay. I surely will, sister. All right. So, in our vinaigrette, a half a teaspoon of sugar, mm -hmm. bubbles, a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper, mm -hmm. a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of unsweetened cocoa. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I'm just going to whisk that up. Whisk it. And you tap on over there and get our plates. I'm going to shuffle this time. <laughs> All right, our salad dressing is ready. To go in our salad, oh, very good. I've got these purple onions, I've got some orange sections, and walnuts. Ooh. They what are I fabulous. I'm just gonna put us a little lettuce in each of our bowls, and I'm gonna fill them good because our salad dressing is gonna kind of be Ooh. This is like the surprise in down the those Cracker greens. Jack box. Huh? This is like getting a prize in the Cracker Jack box. <laughs> Just opening up these little jewels. <laughs> a few nuts on our salad. A little purple onion. 
I'm gonna put a little Parmesan cheese. Are the beets done? Oh, yes. They look Yum delicious. Me. All Ooh, right. Ready, ready. I'm gonna come down here. Oh, gosh. Those just look delicious. Mm, yum. I'm telling you what. Can't wait. I can't either. So, you wanna put our pork chop? Mm. Castanet? All right, I'm gonna wash fast. the purple off my hands as much as I can. These All right. are large. Who are we having for Din Din? <laughs> you and me, sister. Woo, we're gonna do All more right. than tapping. <laughs> I know it. We're gonna be tapped out, honey, when we eat all this. There's our vinaigrette. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, this is where you dig in. <laughs> all right, shall we try the top first? Well, I'm going in for the salad. Well, you go right ahead. I can't wait to taste that beet. Ooh, yum. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. That is delicious. This is delicious. Mmm. I like healthy salad. I like the beets. Don't you love them? Mm hmm. They're so good, aren't they? Isn't that pork chop delicious? To die for. It is absolutely wonderful. Just got a nice flavor. It's got a good flavor to it. Well, thanks so much for tapping into my life this afternoon. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>